Hi, good morning. It's weekend, so that means a noon collection or a unearthing darkness video. Still not sure what to do with that. On the in the back, we're listening to Owl's Blood, the uh, triple tape box that came out on Alter Productions. It has everything, but it will show up in a tape delay. I have a new Walkman, so they're coming. Uh, this is an update from Babylon Doom Cult. You was keeping a box for me. The box came in, and they are here. Um, about 10 records, two from New Era added to it, and then something extra. The first one is S. Grauet, I think, from Ungfell, the second full length. I think Totem Bar is considered the EP. Then you have the white one, and then this one, uh, double LP, no, single LP, sorry, with a booklet. Cover is a bit different than what we're used to by them. <coughs> um, pictures are great looking as always. The Helvetic Underground Committee strikes again. There you go. Um, Soundwise, I don't think they... I heard it once or twice on digital. I don't think they made very hard differences in the sounds. Um, it's still on fell, but... Like I said, I heard it a few times on digital, so can't say for sure right now. Very beautiful release. There was a limited edition uh, with a you know a big cardboard, black cardboard lined um, cover with then a lot of pictures in it. All the pictures in the booklet were separate in there, uh, but this is just the standard version, black. On I think it's press total thousand for the first round, which is not much considering it sells out a lot. Uh, but yeah, <coughs> sorry, my voice is a bit weird today. I'm congested. But yeah, um, nice release by Eisenwald, I think. No, yes, Eisenwald. All rights reserved. Nice looking fellas there. So that's the first one to kick it off the Ufel. Uh The second one is the Daishi Lamp of Murmur split on Nebular Karkoma. Um, I didn't order from the label because I know you. I knew you was getting them in. Um, yeah, this is basically one of those records that sold out very fast. Uh, I didn't get the Uz Goliath or Goliath uh, since that was already gone. But this came in mainly for the Daishi side. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I fell off a bit on Lamp of Murmur. I have some stuff by him, but. Be for no reason, I haven't listened to it as much. Uh, the Daishi full length kept creeping into my head, um, especially with this popping up. So, two tracks from Lamp of Murmur. Yes, and then three tracks by the mystical, maybe Japanese duo that um, did a great full length, I think, last year. Uh, but yeah. Black Final, nothing too special or too fancy. Logos by both on each side. But yeah, like I said, I was blown away by the full length, so I'm really... I haven't heard these tracks, so really excited to know what they sound like. Yeah, cool release. Don't know if Demolach Karkoma ever did final. They were a tape label, or they started as a tape label. Um, another project in the same vein or in the same line, The Sun's Journey Through the Night. This is the... I don't know too much about this. I know he dropped the second demo on tape, I think last week or something like it. This is the first demo on tape and then there's a full length. I was under the impression I ordered the full length, but um, it is the demo, which is maybe as good. His Wounds, number 13, and then Repos Records, which made a earlier appearance with the gift from Tom. Thank you. This is Repos 15, so the first demo. Second demo, I haven't heard it, the second demo, it looked insane, the pictures he took of himself. It started out more like this, you know, the um, more raw version of things, or the raw side of things. But now he has those weirds with the horns and stuff like that, so it looks cool. This is the second pressing, or the second printing of this record, and this is the white, very thin, but very straight copy of that records uh, was written recording isolation during the great plague of 2020 by the godless tyrant aka no one right yeah 
excited to delve in. This is one of those projects that, yeah, it caught me at the tail end of my raw worship periods. And it was just becoming a bit of soup or a big soup, all the projects that looked alike. I don't know if they sounded alike, I'll probably find out soon. Then, a package actually within the order. This is the Altar Drop, which also had the uh, Owl's Blood box set, which is amazing. Uh, it's dedicated to Lassa, so um, yeah, that makes it even more special. He did the, uh, the earlier works by them. This was also coming out on um, Skull, actually, the Lament in Winter's Night with At the Gates of the Eternal Storm. That was one that was on the docket for um, <clears throat> a future release on Skull, but it never happened, sadly. And it's great to see that Alter picked it up and gave it a nice vinyl treatment. It came together with the um, Knight's Threshold 7-inch. You had to order them separately, of course, but I mean, at the same time. So yeah, this is the, I don't know where he is with full lengths or demos, he has a lot of material. This is the Seer, which I talked about in the last video with the Livo Mortis record. Um, this is just, I think it's his first full length, but I'm not sure, on Alter Productions, which is, I mean, what a label. What a label. Releases are on point as usual, but these are a notch up, I mean, from the... Um, yeah, the, the, the self-made releases that they, or the, the hand, more ma handmade releases they did, which were also very cool, but these look a bit more professional and the distribution is also turned up a notch. A uh, poster with the artwork on top, so it's quite an extensive package. Uh, Seer from Australia, who has a lot of projects like this one and Atrocity, Atrocity Altar stuff. My center labels, it's all very, very well done, in my opinion. I don't know about limitation, but I see them pop up everywhere. States, Europe, Antarctica, everywhere. So I guess they have a good run of these. The split 7 inch is with the Knight's Threshold. There goes my stuff. Keep doing that. Um, Knight's, Knight's Threshold had a full on... I don't know the label anymore while ago and then they kind of disappeared a bit I think I don't have too much of them or buy them but um yeah there you go the cover Lament in Winter's Night with Epiphanies and Death and Night's Threshold with Morbid Ecstasy inside which looks great almost classic okay with this promo there's also a Kutlak 7 inch Kutlak yeah, good luck. And this is the altar side of the thing. This is what I meant, you know, like the hand-pasted labels, which are still, in my opinion, still very, very awesome. But, um, yeah. You know what I mean if you like these videos. It looks a bit more clean, I should say. This is the record I confused with um, the guys from Garden Noir. Um, this is apparently another Seer project, I'm not 100% sure. Vrossat, under Vest Dream Skies. Vrossat, I think. I thought mistakenly that this was a Garden Noir material or a full length. But um, yeah, it looks to be again like something from this year. If you look at the picture, it's him. Uh, but yeah. Just another incarnation. He is rapidly becoming one of those guys with a lot of stuff. I don't know if everything is the same quality that you can put it up to a Wagner Rudegaard or something like that, but yeah. Once again, big ass poster, semi big ass poster of the artwork, um, which is very cool. I don't know, that was my eye. I don't know who does these, but um, these are all digitally sculpted, I think. And they look amazing. But yeah. A lot of this year lately, so I have to delve in and maybe delve a little deeper to see what else is in there, sound-wise. Yeah. Then the two from Van Records. New output by Uchfaust. This is called Compilation of Intoxications. Um, this is the 180 gram smoke vinyl, limited to 999. I'm not sure. 
This is a compilation of earlier material, uh, splits and stuff like that. Intro, the first levitation, self castrator, hypnotis bevel, and so on and so on. Nicely done by Van. It has uh, the foil stamped logo in red. So it's very nicely done. Artwork is very on point. Gin makers of the finest kind. Um, it is limited to 999 and hand numbered, which is insane. But yeah, Sven does amazing work. 919 is this one. This is just a single sleeve. It looks a bit flimsy, but it's actually very nice quality. It's very metallic silver printed on black, which uh, they always have standout stuff. Buchfaust, this is the list of what's in there. Uh, previously unreleased the intro, then we have released as a one-sided 7-inch, taken from the split with Le Hubroom, Wederganger, Ghoul Cult, uh, and another with Le Hubroom from the Bardo Brothers split. Big poster. Upside down, of course. There we go. With the artwork. I don't know if the artist is on here somewhere. The sigil. Layout by the Spectre. Front cover by Robert van Ritter. So Spectre shows up again. But now in the Oegfaust camp. Um, like I said, there, I think there was a black version, but I'm not sure. Or this. No, this is a smoke version. I think there was a black version. This is that van gray smoke. It's more gray than amber. But there's some amber in here. Uh, yeah, nice compilation. I ordered it because of the strength of the cover and um, the way it looked. Because most of the tracks, I think I have. The intro that was never put on CD. I don't know how it will sound. I hope it's worth it. But yeah, cool record by Uchfaust, nonetheless. If you don't have anything by Uchfaust, a great place to start. And then there's a warning on this one. This album is a ode to Satan the Most Holy. But then in Dutch, it sounds better in Dutch. This is the second full length. I don't know if they regard it as a full length, but it is the latest and last output by Quade uh, Drus, if you can believe the title and the cards that come with it. Met oprechte deelneming means condolences. Uh, this is the 180 gram black vinyl, limited to 436. Those numbers, those fan numbers. Quade uh, Drus is a, I think, an Urfaust related side project, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, they have a 7 inch EP and a full, I think, and then this is 1, 2, 3, 4 tracks. Um, yeah. Limit to 4, 3, 6, I have number 1, it seems, which is always a bit weird, but yeah. I think you're always early on the ball ordering these. It says here, um, after disgusting and heavy earthly existence, Quadrus has gone over to the dark side or to the side of death. There is no possibility to condolences or goodbyes we have already been buried but like I said then in Dutch postcard to send to someone to remind him that Quade Drus is not anymore but I think they went out with a quite of a bang like the cover like the logo still there you go. the horse blood printers time 30 minutes perfect cruising through this one and this is like I said the black version double-sided there's a Uchfaust looking sigil and then you have that but yeah some a lot of records actually to dive in and to find, find out what's up but yeah this one is high on there so that's next then I have one more from the Yo pile and this is one that I picked up in my quest for late 90s stuff. This is Zyklon B, the uh, band that has uh, Emperor people in there, among others. Um, this is one of their side projects that made some waves, I guess, due to the name, due to the music. I'm not sure, but yeah. Blood must be shed. It's like, yeah, basically a classic. Frost, drums, Samot on strangulation strings, Ishan on keyboards and Aldran on vocals. Um, there's no political leaning, it says here, on the front. But yeah, actually a nice release on... Um, I don't know what the label is called. It's something with Eternal Eons or something like it, I guess, there. Some warnings and limited to 333, I have 278, but yeah. 
nice EP from that band. It's been released a few times. This has the foil stamp logo. Ishan with his Matrix, most Matrix look to date. But yeah, looks great. The um, LP is a single sided because it's only three tracks and it has a etched side. This is the track listing and then the edge is like battle battle weapons and razor blades and whatever. So yeah, cool etching actually. A classic I picked up that I was missing or didn't even know I was missing, but yeah. Two more and a shirt. I um, got the new era order in, there's a lot of this paper. The one that I thought was the most interesting is Stygian Blackhand and Dawn Breed records with the new um, uh, larva, larvia, still not sure. Sickening Cadaveric Perversion, the brand new 7 inch uh, that is out now on Dawn Breed. There you go. I have the shirt from Val, but that will show up in a video. I'm not going to unpack it now. Um, but yeah, it will show up. It's just the cover and then there's some... I'm going to unpack it because there's something on the back. It comes in this nice envelope. There you go. New era stamp on it. I love the cover artwork of the new EP, so that it is at Vagevuur. And the back has Spectre in the woods and it says Primitive Zwartkunst. There you go. New era strikes again, or Skigerak strikes again actually. Also with this one, this is Demsgevold, the um, <coughs> Maalstrom des Dolts, the Maalstrom of Dead. Uh, covered by the Spectre, the artwork, portrait of the man himself. More than Demsenvold, this is the um, the project maybe that is mostly linked to his subconscious or his psyche, the more psychological fueled black metal, if you will. Uh, but yeah, this is a compilation also of stuff um, from Zwartspokerei. I think is it on here somewhere? Chaos Reigns is there in big. Yeah, there's a lot of info, but I don't see it directly. Originally released as a limited cassette with the Vampiric Spectre on Zwartkunst. The Zwartne Spokerei limited cassette, so all cassettes and split 7 inches, Zwarte Daupus, stuff like that. So yeah, all splits and tape material. Um, there is nothing more in here than that. There's the back cover. This is a pretty straightforward release. Just black black. New Era starting to do some weird color vinyl which looks insane but mostly on the test presses I think. And then we have the New Era Bingo. There we go. I think I would quite score quite high on that one. Last one, maybe not the least one. This is Val with Vagevuur. Um, the Spectres band. I think he did everything himself this time. There's no incoming musicians or musicians that are helping him. He is, um, all instruments is a foul. They did the foil stamp on this one that they didn't have on the last one. Sound-wise, it's a bit more aggressive and a bit more raw, if you will, or if you believe it, than the previous one. The previous one had Dodus Hyman, for example, which had that hook in there. This one is more, other would call it uh, Mayhem Worship. I hear a lot of Dark Throne. I spoke to some people who also hear Dark Throne, only Dark Throne, so yeah. It is still uh, first wave, especially Norwegian worship, thrown in with some other stuff, of course, but yeah. Nice looking release, actually. Very cool cover. Limited to 500, once again, hand numbered 453 on mine. Cool pictures by Spectre. His face leans for the, I, I mean, it lends itself to these kind of pictures. I hope it shows up, but there's one in the booklet that is very sick. Uh, once again, a bingo. There is the shirt cards, and the uh, Kastreder is also a very good one. I, due to budget, I didn't pick it up, but also a very good record. Then, everything is black and white except for the center labels, center labels which are blood red, like maybe held it with his or their Doré worship artwork. But yeah, it's a nice touch to have everything black and white and then some color in there. Then the last thing that was in there is the booklet which is very nicely done. Also that silver metallic printing 
not as metallic as the um, Urfaus, but still very nice. All music and lyrics written by Val, grimly recorded and produced at the Lone Enclave, mastered by Arian, a name which keeps popping up in the NLBM or the Dutch black metal scene. Lyrics in Dutch, and like I said, it is a bit more than the previous one. No hooks, and I love this picture of the Spectre, or of Val, if you will, for this one. That's it, I think I've showed everything. I guess that's enough. Um, yeah, tape delay is coming. I'm slowly building it, and I have a Walkman now, so expect more. That's it for this weekend. Next, I hope uh, the plans for next week will come true for Grondwerk. I'm not going to say anything anymore, just do not create anything, expectation or whatever. But yeah, this was the update. Thank you very much, enjoy the weekend, and I'll see you ASAP.